my name is Amir and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming the much anticipated makeup collection video. Um, so my friend helped me organize all of my makeup finally. So I can actually show it to you also. I hope you like it. Um, I tried to not ramble on too much in this video, but I still kind of did. I tried to only talk about like a few of my favorites or if I had only had like a few of something, then I showed you them all. Um, I didn't want to go into it too much though because I am actually planning to do um, in-depth collection and swatch videos. So like highlighter collection and swatches, um, lipstick collection and swatches, that's going to be really long, <laughs> um, foundation collection, yada yada yada. So um, let me know below what kind of order you'd like to see that in, what your preferences are, so I can film those ones first. I was going to film it, you know, in the order that you put it on your face, but yeah, that, that might be a bit boring starting with primers, so um, let me know what you think. Um, a lot of people do dis disclaimers in their makeup collection videos, like I'm not bragging, blah 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 blah. Hopefully you guys know, you should know um, that I'm not bragging or anything, so I shouldn't have to go into that too much. Um, you know, I worked really hard to get all the makeup that I have and it is my job and my hobby, so um, yeah, I do have a few things that I didn't mention in the collection because um, they're in my freelance kit and some of the things I have here I do kind of bring back and forth um, in my freelance kit, like my single um, depotted eyeshadows and stuff. Um, so yeah, I hope that that um, clears anything up and I hope that you enjoy the video. Okay, so I'm just showing you just this, just so you can see where I film. Um, I've got two lights and a little mirror which I move around. And then you can see the little handle of my tripod just there. Um, I will move the lights around so you can see better, but I just want to show you guys what I am looking at. And yes, there is usually some kind of energy beverage there. <laughs> see up here, I've got just some makeup on display, um, some brushes and whatnot, some lip glosses. Um, my palettes, there are some more palettes under here. There's some stuff that I want to use for first impressions. I've got one Alex drawer and then another one. Now, they're not all filled with makeup. I've got skincare, lashes, makeup, and two ones for hair. And over here, um, the top ones are all makeup and the bottom is for empties that I want to do empties videos with. And also, um, what is it? Tanning products. Alright, so this first drawer here is all of basically eye products and brow products. So at the front here, I've got um, some eye primer and an eye base. I don't usually use these, I usually just use a bit of concealer and powder, but whatever. I've got some sharpeners, some lash glue, more lash glue, lash curlers. Very standard in here, all my brow products. Um, my favourite ones at the moment are the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Brow Colour. Um, I also really, really like, or is it this one? The Astralis Brow Extender. I won't go through everything, but you can have a little bit of a look. Um, since, as I said in the beginning, I do want to do an in-depth one on everything. Otherwise, this video would just be way too long. Here, we've got all of my um, liquid liners or gel eyeliners or, you know, that kind of stuff. Oops, dropped one. My favorites are the um, Maybelline Master Precise. And also, I really like, I really like this one, the face of Australian one. And the Maybelline Hyper Glossy. It's worn off, but I really like that one too. Over here are all of my pencil products um, and like, you know, kind of jumbo pencils and stuff. This is the Anastasia Pro Pencil. I really, really like this one. Um, I originally got it to be an eyeshadow base, but then and it didn't really work out. It didn't blend nicely on my eyelids, so I love it and use it like every day in my water light to brighten up my eyes and hide my eye cyst, which will get, be getting removed soon, hopefully, which is scary. Um, in here, I've got all my mascaras. I threw out a couple um, just before I filmed that, you know, I didn't need. I really like this one, the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. And I just threw it out because it was like really dried up. But I also really like the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I've got a backup one somewhere, so I'll get that out soon. And this one, the Essence Blush Mania. That's a big favorite of mine too. Up the back in here, there's just some samples of stuff. Um, I won't show you that, that's not too important. Um, and then in here, I've just got a bunch of random pigments 
on splash color tattoos, um, just random single stuff that you know I don't really use very often. Next one is lip products. So on this side here, I've got um, some of these little, some of these little um, containers. I've got two of those. I don't remember where I got them, um, but yeah, I've got two of those with um, those that sit on the side and I kind of put in here stuff that I've got, you know, multiples of. So like I've got some L'Oreal ones, I've got a random space here. Um, Sports Girl, Chi Chi, um, Lime Crime, it's my Giorgio Armani lipstick. It's so lonely, just the one. It's like a very pretty nude color. Um, I've got some Too Faced, Barry M, Revlon, Maybelline. Yep, and then in here we've got the liquid, um, mostly matte or liquid to matte lipstick. I've got a bunch of these random ones that were just, um, you know, you can get them on eBay for like a dollar each. Got a bunch of colours there. These are all um, nude ones. I've got some NYX ones. Got some NYX soft matte lip creams. They're really nice. Too Faced ones. These are quite nice, although I did notice they went... A bit weird when I went to use them the other day, they were very, very oily. In here we've got um, lip glosses, pretty much. I don't use a lot of lip gloss, but those ones are there. Here we've got more liquid lipsticks mostly, and a couple other random ones. These are more like brighter colours. And then at the, at the very, very back we've got like a bunch of other random lipsticks that I don't use as much, really. Yeah. This next one down here, this is the deeper drawers, which are kind of annoying. I wish they were all like the same height. I wish that the three drawers, the top three drawers were shallow because this one has like a lot of wasted space. All right, this drawer is concealers and primers, setting sprays and powders. So over here, we have all of my liquid concealers. Um, there's, my favorite ones are NARS and Maybelline. Um, yeah, those are probably my favorite ones. They're at the bottom because I just rearranged them the other day, but I use them the most. In here are my correctors and like powder concealers, like the Bare Minerals Well Rested and yeah, just because, I don't know, they're just easy to keep those powders here since, you know, mainly I'm using concealers on my eyes. Just got that EX one the other day. I quite like that. NYX are probably my favorites. And I really also um, have been liking this one, the LA Pro Conceal. Um, this is just the yellow color, and I really like that one as a corrector around my eyes. In here are my primers. I've got the two ones that I use the most up on my vanity. Um, slash, I should probably put one of these up there. These are my two favorite ones that are in this drawer. Um, the L'Oreal Skin Perfection and the Inoxa Skin Perfecting Pore Vanishing Cream. Those are both fill in my pores really, really nicely. I like them a lot. Um, the other ones don't get used as much. I started using that one a bit lately, the Anoxa Pure Silk Primer. I don't find it does too much though for my skin. And then the L'Oreal Lumi Magique. This is awesome. I've gone through like a couple of those, so I like that one. The back here, I've got my setting sprays. Um, these will probably end up staying on my vanity, but uh, for the moment, they're in here. This is MAC Fix Plus. I've gone through a full one of these, and this is my second, and it is... About, I've got a third left. I really like that one. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, and I really, really like this one too. I had a mini sample one which I went through and then repurchased when they launched at Mecca. I know I said I wouldn't go through everything, but I don't have many setting sprays, so I'll do that. Um, we've got the Astralis Makeup Finishing Spritz. This doesn't make my makeup last longer, but it does get rid of that powdery finish. Here is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist Set. This is pretty standard, kind of like the Astralis one. Doesn't do a lot, but it does get rid of the powder finish. And this is the NYX Dewy Setting Spray. I have a backup one of these in a drawer, because this one's nearly empty, but I quite like that as well. And then we have the Urban Decay B6 Spray. I usually use this one more as a primer than as a setting spray, but you can use it as either. But my most used powders are here. Um, the Napoleon Camera Finish Powders. They're both the same, except repackaged. Um, Look for and G4, so the same color, but they just renamed it. Those are my faves. All these powders are mineral foundations. So I've got some Thin Lizzy's, um, Color Revolution. Um, this MAC powder I got, this is way too dark for me. Occasionally I use it very, very lightly over my face, but generally I use it as a bronzer. 
it's a medium tan and it's way too dark. And then, yeah, just a couple random ones in there. Um, seeing as I'm usually tan, um, I keep those powders up here just because they're a bit easier to access. This is the bottom makeup drawer now. I have all of my foundations in here except for one, um, which I keep up on my vanity, not because I use it more or anything, but because it's too tall to fit in the drawer because I like to put all my work foundations that have a pump um, standing upright here. Let's move it there. Got my tan skin foundations here and my pale skin foundations here um, for ones with pumps. Um, a couple that I really like are my L'Oreal Lumi. L'Oreal Lumi, I really like that one. This one, I'm loving the NARS um, Luminous, All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. Love that one. Um, I just got this and just did a first impressions on it. I've only used it twice. So far, so good. And yeah, just a couple other ones. My Pale Skin Foundations. Yeah, none of the pump ones I like too much. Here are all my foundations in like little bottles and stuff. Did a first impressions on that one too if you're interested. And I've done a review on the Napoleon Stroke of Genius Liquid Cashmere Foundation. I really like that one. And you know I like it because I've got it in two shades. One for pale and one for tan. Here are my BB cream slash tinted moisturizers for pale skin. Um, if you have very, very, very fair skin, um, I'd recommend the Anoxa one because it goes quite light. Um, here are more tan ones. Um, this one I really don't like, which is why I'm going to say it, the J Bronze. If you guys have any recommendations of how to use this, let me know because this just makes a patchy mess on my face. Um, I really like this one, the Napoleon BBB. That's really nice. Um, my favourite one in here though would probably be this. The L'Oreal New Magic CC Cream. It looks really gross because it had one of those sticky labels on it. But yeah, this is in anti -Domus. I really like that one. And then here are all my powders. Basically the same as the top drawer. I've got some MAC, L'Oreal. These are mattifying powders from Napoleon. And then other random like translucent powders and stuff. And then that camera finish powder again for me without tan. To the left of my vanity, I've got most of my palettes um, all here. And then here are just some products that I want to do first impressions on. So they're out here to remind me to use them. Um, with all my palettes, I'll just show you the ones at the back. I've got Lorac Mega Pro Too Faced Everything Nice. These are really, really nice. Both limited edition though. Um, here I've got custom palettes. These are Napoleon Shadows. Um, well, mostly Napoleon Shadows. And then um, this couple are girly. In here, we've got all Makeup Geek. Um, this is MAC, this is the only MAC um, shadow I have. And then like a couple random ones here. Um, I'm gonna do a full palette collection, so I'm not gonna show you all of these. But we've got Stiller, Smashbox, The Balm, Inglot, Sugar Pill, Lorac um, 1 and 2, um, Urban Decay 1, 2, 3, and Chocolate Bar 1 and 2. Those are there. My favorite ones out of all of these would probably be Stilla, eh, go back in, and Too Faced. So you saw my acrylic case. I just moved it closer so that you could, um, you know, see everything in it because I can't reach. Um, so these are stuff I use all the time. So I got my Kevin Aquan little um, highlight and contour palette. Um, this little. NARS eyeshadow duo in St. Paul de Vence. It's really nice everyday colors. Primers that I use all the time, still a one step correct. I've gone through one full one of these. Um, Hourglass Veil, I need to get the big one, but it's just so expensive, so I just keep buying the small ones. Um, Hourglass um, Primer Serum, because my skin's been really dry lately. MAC Pro Longwear, because stuff that comes in a pump, I like to stand up, as I said before. Josie Moran Argan Illuminizer. This is pretty new and I've been using this quite a lot and I want to put it up here so I don't forget about it. Um, down here I've got a Gerard Cosmetics Lipstick and MAC Velvet Teddy because um, they don't fit anywhere else and because I've been wearing them a lot lately. L'Oreal Liquid Bronzer. This stuff is like my favorite ever. Um, I'm contemplating getting a second one because it was limited edition and I don't want to miss out but it's gonna last forever so I'm worried it'll go bad if I get a second one. Um, back here I keep stuff that I use a bit more often as well. So I've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, liquid lipstick in Pure Hollywood. And these Maybelline um, Color Drama lip crayons. 
Um, 630 New Perfection is like a dupe for Velvet Teddy, except for it's not completely matte. It's um, a bit softer, a bit softer finish, but the colour's almost identical. And this is 140 Minimalist, which is a good kind of pink everyday colour. Over here, I've got um, the Naked Basics 1 and 2 palettes. I love the first one, love it to death. Um, I've got some lipsticks back here. These are Napoleon Matastics. My benefit balms here, I wear them all the time if I'm going to gym because I usually come in here to get ready, put on a bit of concealer and then just put on a lip balm, tinted lip balm. Um, here we've got NARS Audacious lipsticks. I've just got two of those. Um, but yeah, I really like them and they're just so pretty. <laughs> and then here we've got some YSL. Basically just two nudes and then a sheer pink, which is nice, kind of similar. These are kind of similar. Um, what else was up there are these MAC lipsticks. Um, this just holds nine, so there are nine in here. Um, I'm going to go through them all later. Uh, but my favourite ones would be Cream Cup and Velvet Teddy, which I've already shown you, and Fox, or Faux, or however you want to say it. Up here as well, you can see that I've got the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. This is too tall to stand up in my drawer with my other ones. Then I've got a mini little Benefit Hello Oxygen sample thing that I want to try out, and I keep forgetting about it, so it's up here, so I remember. Then below that, in this drawer, I have all of my ColourPop shadows. This is really hard to get, but in this drawer then, I've got um, all of my ColourPop shadows. Um, I've got a makeup store shadow, a Stiller little foiled one, and then some Astralis uh, metallics back here as well. But yeah, they're mostly all ColourPop. These are here just because I forget about single eyeshadows a lot. So if they're here, um, I can access them easily and get them out easily. Then here in the middle, we've got some more palettes in this little empty space. These are the ones that I'm currently using more, slash I sometimes rotate them all around so that I can use stuff more often. Um, over here, I've got the NARS um, Virtual Domination Cheek Palette. Really like that one, use that one a lot. Kat Von D Shade and Light. Um, this I was also going to sell, Too Faced Cat Eyes, because I don't use it very often. But no one wanted to buy it off me, even though it's only been used like once. So it's here so that I use it more often. We've got um, Tarte Lip Palette, which I'm loving to death. Lime Crime Venus, Venus Palette, that if you want to risk buying off Lime Crime, you could get that. Oh no, wait, I don't know. I think that was limited edition. I'm not sure. The colours in there are really pretty, but you know, Lime Crime. <laughs> um, the Urban Decay Naked on the Run Palette. This one really annoys me because it's just so big and bulky, but it's just so nice. <laughs> I really like just the package. It's, it's pretty, you know? I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I wish I used it more, which is why it's here. Um, here I have a little empty um, Makeup Geek Z palette, just the little one, and I'm going to fill that with some MAC Press pigments because my friend and I went halves in buying some pigments because, you know, whoever uses the whole pigment, so we're just pressing them, and then I'm going to put my ones in here, and then she's going to take hers home. Over here, we've got the Lorac Pro to Go. I haven't used that in ages, which is why that's here. And then this is here because even if I don't use it, this palette makes me really happy. This palette's really, really pretty and it means a lot to me because my boyfriend made this for me. Um, he picked out all the colours himself and like when I went to buy myself some Inglot shadows, I got home and I bought myself that one again because obviously I really like it because I bought it myself. But I didn't realise it was the same colour so I took it back and got something else. But yeah, it's really, really nice. Um, yeah, makes me happy because he bought me makeup. <laughs> Alright, let's move that one away. <laughs> So up here we've got all of my brushes, um, down here are lip products, so we've got all of my lip pencils here, and then all of my Colourpop lippy sticks and lippy pencils here. There will be a swatch video up for these soon, as well as the Colourpop shadows. Here is my Garnier Masala water, I use this like every day to take off my makeup and I find that it doesn't affect my eyelash extensions, so if you have eyelash extensions you should use this to clean your eyeballs. In here, this is what I used to keep all of my makeup brushes in, like I had heaps of these, but I got some makeup sponges, um, Beauty Blender Real Technique sponge, and then I've got like a bunch of brushes that are like too short to go in my other holders and some tweezers. Um, but yeah, just like a bunch of random stuff that doesn't fit anywhere else. This here is just a little um, clear dish. I pour mas the masala, I don't know how to say it, water in here. Um, and then dip a cotton tip in there to clean my eyes properly because, yeah, like I pour the micellar water onto a cotton ball, but I pour it in here so that I can get it onto the Q-tips without making a mess. 
Up here are all of my Gerard Cosmetics lip glosses. I really, really like them. Like, as I said before, I don't wear lip gloss a lot, but those are my favorite, favorite, favorite ones. The only annoying thing is I got them before they changed the packaging, like a week before. So I got all silver ones and then like two of the gold ones, which is really annoying because they don't match. Then in that little drawer below, I just have um, cotton balls and then I took some cotton balls out and I've got some Q-tips there too. Standard stuff. I skipped the first drawer because that's skincare and then in here it's just all lashes. There's no rhyme or reason to this. My favorite eyelashes though are social eyes and specifically my favorite pair would probably be, if I can find it, these ones. These are the Vixen lashes and these are so, so, so pretty. And yeah, they're my favorite ones. And I also love Ardell Demi Wispies. I don't know if they're in, if I've got any of them at the moment because I haven't worn fake lashes in ages. They're probably in there somewhere, but I love those ones. This drawer is like my favorite drawer and I'm probably gonna have to rearrange this soon and sort something else out because it is chock to the brim. It is absolutely packed. Um, I'm going to take these out so you can see. Um, this is the Anastasia Contour Kit and this um, blush palette. I got a Benefit cheek set and I depotted them all and put them here, which is cool. And then just like a couple other random ones. And this is a Z palette. Um, Anastasia can go up here. Um, in here we have a bronzer palette from Too Faced. In here are all of my bronzers and stuff like this, like little... Um, you know, cheek palettes. And yeah, all bronzers. I really like Nars Laguna. This is like a mini one that I got in a um, Sephora thing. Um, this is like one of, actually probably my favorite bronzer at the moment, powder one, the ColourPop bronzer in Carry On. This is just so, so pretty. I love it to pieces. I've got some matte custom ones. This bronze is really nice um, for pale skin, Napoleon matte bronze. Uh, I love this. I'm going to show you this one too. I love this um, MAC Rock, Ho Rocky Horror Picture Show. Uh, I don't use this very often, but I really like it. Um, I didn't realize that this one would be shimmery. Stupid me. Um, but it's actually a pretty nice highlight um, contour thing. And then this is technically a highlighter, it's Precision's formula, but it kind of comes off as like a bronzy highlight. So that's there. Um, in here we have two hourglass palettes. So I've got the, which one's which? That one's the face one and that one's the blush one. Really, really like these. Although I'm thinking of selling this blush palette. Um, how do I open this? Oh, there we go. I'm thinking of selling this blush palette because I only really use this one and I don't really use those too much because they're both kind of bright. And I thought I would hate this color and use it the least, but it's my favorite ever. It looks so pretty. Like it looks boring here. It looks like a bruise. But on this skin, it looks really good. Here we've got blushes. These are more my high-end blushes. Um, I really, really love this ColourPop blush. I think this is Birthday Suit. Yeah, this is really, really nice. Um, got a bunch of NARS, Too Faced. This is one of my favorite blushes ever. Yeah. This is Frat Boy by The Balm. It's just such a pretty, pretty color. I use this a lot in tutorials because it's gonna suit a lot of different skin tones. And I find it suits a lot of looks as well. Um, in here are more kind of drugstore blushes slash ones that didn't fit in here. This blush I really like too. This is Clinique. Um, Opal Essence. I've uh, got some Milani, some NYX. Um, got this contour kit from Napoleon. Eh, fit back in. Um, in here we've got highlighters. Oh, here I've got this Australis contour kit, which I don't really like. <laughs> um, and yeah, all contour highlight things. I got these makeup revolution ones. Those are really, really, really good. Definitely recommend. Got a bunch of ColourPop ones. This is Makeup Store Meteor. This is a single eyeshadow, but it's just the most gorgeous highlighter ever. Love it, love it. Um, Mary Lou by the Balm. Love that to pieces. Got some MAC ones, Nars Albatross, which I don't like. Artist Couture, these ones are awesome. I got a set with all the minis in it. And then I have a couple full-size ones and some more Makeup Revolution. These are just some random eyeshadow palettes. Um, got like Chi Chi ones, there's like four Chi Chi, or oh, three Chi Chi ones in there. Um, there's like a couple little Napoleon quads. Max Cinderella, Nars Duo. And yeah, a couple other ones, but those are just going to stay up the back because I'm not pulling that out. And then I have 
these face of australia these are um what are they these are foundations but i got darker colors to use as cream contours i wasn't sure which one so i grabbed two because these were on sale it came up for like two dollars or something ridiculous and i have a little container too with um cream products which i can't get out because it's standing up there's not a lot in there um so i'm just going to pull it forward so you can have a look these products didn't really fit anywhere else so they kind of all got put together here i've got this buxom cream highlighter um l'oreal bb cream blush um juicy moran coconut cheek color i don't really use any of these that much either bourgeois um cream blush is actually really pretty Essence So Glow Cream Highlighter, Napoleon one, Australis one, and then we've got this NARS one, which is kind of okay, and this Clarins one, which I really like mixing with my foundations. So that is it. I hope you liked my collection. Let me know below what your favorite was from this collection, and if you want to see any of the products that I've used um, in tutorials or reviews on them or anything like that comment below because I can definitely do that for you um, You know a lot of the reason that I started YouTube was to you know kind of like justify um, And share with you all the products that I have to kind of make it a bit more worth it other than just like my personal collection it's Something that I want to share with you all so yeah, I hope that you liked this video If you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my new videos and I'll see you next time. Bye Oh, 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 oh,